Kieran Swale, Tourism Innovation Specialist at the Business Support Team in Southern Regional College. And today I'm in conversation with Thompson Aero Seating and I'm in conversation with Niall, with Sarah, with Liam and Matthew. And hello everyone. Hello. hello. Great, great. Uh, thanks a million for, for coming down and having a chat with us about apprenticeships. Could I ask you all just to very, very briefly, starting with you, Sarah, just to introduce yourselves? Of course. Uh, thank you for the invitation for coming down oh, today. You're very welcome. Um, my name is Sarah Jordan, and I am the Learning, Training, and Development Manager for Thompson Arrow Seating. Uh, we are based in Portadown and Banbridge in Northern Ireland, and we um, design and manufacture business class airline seats. Um, so we've been through a, a period um, of, of exciting transformation and growth in recent times um, and, and excited to be here today. Great, great. Thank you, Sarah. And you, Niall? Uh, I'm Niall. I've, I'm an IT apprentice at Thompson Aero Seating. Uh, I've been here for about four months and also with that I'm at the tech uh, doing a level five foundation degree in computer science. Very good. And, and Liam? Yeah, my name's uh, Liam Kelly, and uh, I'm in the final year of a uh, Megatronic Engineering Apprenticeship in the college. Me Megatronics? Megatronic, yeah. Very good, very good. And Matthew? Yeah, I, my name's Matthew Ruddock, and I've been working in Thompson Air Seat for five years now. I, I carried out the higher level apprenticeship in Megatronic Engineering, and then went from there to Associate to uh, Certification Engineer. All the way through then. All the way through. We'll get to come back to that, Matthew. We'll, we'll, we'll explore that further. Okay then. So Sarah, as a company, you guys have decided to invest in apprenticeships. Why did you, why did you do that? I think it's really important to, um, to capture, you know, young, innovative, um, creative, um, you, you know, uh, people coming out of, out of school that maybe don't really choose the university route um, and they're not really sure maybe what they want to do. Um, so it's, it's important to have that platform and that avenue um, from, a, from a local kind of business perspective that they, they, um, they can go in and they can start to study a high level apprenticeship. Um, it's also really important, I think, for, for us as an organisation to gain that competitive edge. We want to grow and, and retain our own talent yep. um, and, and we can kind of mould what, what it is we need and what it is we want for the future. Um, so I think the High Level Apprenticeship is a fantastic platform to do that with. Yeah, uh, how many years have you been doing that for? We've done it now for four or five years right. um, okay. and we have um, up to 14 apprentices so far. We um, predominantly started out in our engineering function and then we've progressed now this year into our engineering systems um, and we then for September would like um, to look at different avenues because it's been so, so successful. Just for clarity, so you have um, engineering that you, you mentioned, what else can, what are, you, are you doing and planning to offer in higher level apprenticeships? Yeah, so currently we're offering um, the, the, the level of, um, higher level apprenticeship in mechatronics um, and information systems and then we're, we're um, opening out now to uh, marketing and communications and also finance and, and accounting as well for September. So, so great opportunities there for different areas to yes. do your HLA. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Now Niall, tell us, uh, you were at school so you were doing your, your GCSEs I imagine, after that you made a decision which way do we go? And you chose apprenticeships. Why did you do that? Yeah, well, I completed my GCSEs, and usually the next step is to just stay in secondary school and continue on with your le uh, levels. Yeah. Didn't appeal to me, and uh, chose to go on to the SRC, do my le level three in information technology because IT is what I want to do. And thankfully, at, at the SRC, they give me kind of uh, the option to let me know my options and let me research my options and the one that stood out to me was the HLA, the apprenticeship. Sure, okay, okay. And Liam, like, what would your typical working week, what does that look like? Yeah, so um, every Thursday I would be in the college and then the rest of the working week I would spend um, within the workplace. So uh, it would include tasks like um, looking at different aspects and different processes throughout the business and improving them on like a daily basis. So. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. interesting. And do you like it? Do you love it? Yeah, it's class. Good, good, good stuff. And uh, Matthew, I suppose, so you've been through uh, the, the apprenticeship system. You're now with the company. What's your job in the company? So my job uh, is a certification engineer. So we look after the testing and certification. That sounds quite specialist. Uh, yeah, so it's all about the certification of seats for flight. So there's two types of testing we do in-house, which is static and Reliability. I look after the reliability testing, which uses robotics and uh, pneumatic systems to set up tests to run over a period of two months, three months maybe, you know, opening the door or And table. I'm going to ask you, is robotics um, 
is that very important within the company? Well, for it's very important at the minute for my type of testing. It means I can set up tests a lot quicker, and uh, but that's the only part of the company that uses uh, robotics. My colleague James, who's, who'll be watching this, will be smiling because he did a webinar last week on robotics and, and manufacturing, and it was fantastic. And it actually really informed me about uh, where I suppose our robotics is going within the company, and it's not necessarily replacing humans, and actually it's enhancing jobs and, and the growth of companies. It is, yes, and it's obviously a part of that kind of innovation side of, of yeah. what we want to attract as well through our high-level apprenticeships. You know, um, I think Matthew's being very modest. He basically runs that robotic a robotic shop itself. Um, and Matthew. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, hey, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so technology, yeah, like you said, um, it's really in support of, of, the, of the ideas that, that the individuals are coming up with themselves. You know, so yeah, yeah, no, that's, that, that's really interesting. Okay, well now, then, like, in terms of support now, how much support would you get in the workplace? I'd, I'd get a lot, yeah. Mm. Uh, I have my... Uh, developmental co coordinator, I guess you could say, uh, yeah. in Sarah, uh, in work, and then uh, I'd have, have one in the SRC as well. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I would also have my, my line manager as well, mm -hmm. where I would have weekly one-to-ones with him, just talking about how I'm getting on, anything that you know could improve my time there, let's say, and then obviously I've got my mentor that just teaches me everything and taught me everything that I know right now. Yeah, I think that's really important. Lovely to hear that. And I think it's really, really important because the way of the world has changed, work has changed. Um, Sarah, mentoring and coaching now is becoming more prevalent and companies are sitting back and realising. And I suppose your company is testament to that, yeah. No, agreed, um, Kieran. And I think you know, coaching and mentoring is, is something that's um, really becoming apparent of, of how important that is. Yeah. Um, and you know, even the way that people are learning and developing at the minute in the world, um, that kind of mentorship and that coaching and that learning by doing and really, um, you know, being in the thick of it with somebody and getting that advice and that structure, it, it's really important and, and um, not even just for high-level apprenticeships, just across the whole spectrum of, of learning and development itself. Yeah. So at Thompson Aero City and what opportunities are there, Sarah? So we, when we looked at um, you know, introducing high-level apprenticeships within Thompson Aero Seating, we understood that it, it needed to go beyond just graduating as a higher-level apprentice. Yeah. So we had to create a, plat a pathway and a platform um, so that they could succeed and we could succeed as a business um, in partnership with that. So you would start off as a, as a higher-level apprentice. You would do your three-year higher-level apprentice and graduate. And then we would offer you an associate role, which would be another two years. Um, and in support of that associate role, we would pay and sponsor your fees. Wow, and that would top up your level five to a level six, which would be your, your degree equivalent. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, then depending on performance, etc., we, we would then, um, you know, you would go into a professional avenue, whether you are a certification engineer or whether you, you know, go down um, information systems or, or whatever avenue that, that you've come in as an apprenticeship. Sounds really interesting, Liam. There's, there's lots of like progression opportunities. You know, you get to this side and you can go here, here, like Matthew has done. There seems to be lots of opportunities there. Yeah, there definitely is. Um, it's like something that I'm both thinking about when I finish, yeah. um, progressing on and doing my level six. Yeah. It would still be the one day a week in the college and the four days in the workplace. Yeah. And what do your friends think about, Liam? You know, um, friends that maybe when you made the decision to do apprenticeships or higher level apprenticeships, what, what, are, what do they think, first of all? and, and what are they doing now? Yeah, they actually thought it was great. Um, there's a few of my friends who have actually joined the college the year after I did. Okay. Yeah, and um, they're loving it, so they are really enjoying it. Yeah, and what are they doing? Yeah, uh, there's uh, one of them doing is maintenance, and they're literally across the road in Moy Park from us, so yeah, it's good. Okay, and Matthew, is it easy? Is it easy to study and work at the same time? Is that easy? Especially yes, during for in the higher level apprenticeship compared to you know, like the university route. Yeah. I believe you've more time whenever you're doing the HLA uh, in the evenings, weekends. You know, you're not concentrating all the time in university work. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of the coursework can be done in class, and especially during exam times, where the company gives you uh, study leave. You know, when there could be four or five exams coming up in the space of a week or so, yeah. you get study leave to, to study for them. Yeah, okay, and, and now, if anyone was listening to this, what advice would you give them? Uh, I would say consider your options. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you've got Google. Uh, you can use that just to search up what can I do next yeah. in, in my yeah. life. 
yeah. and obviously obviously you've got teachers that you can ask there's people that you can ask you can ask ask your parents whatever but when it comes to the HLA the apprenticeship uh, it should be something that should really be considered especially if you're thinking of going down the route of university and it's something that you can get an apprenticeship in it's a great opportunity to have and obviously experience in the workplace is mm. absolutely priceless yep. and to get that at such a young age is a fantastic opportunity. Oh, that's good, that's good to hear. And what about you Liam? So if someone's saying I'm thinking about apprenticeship, what would you say? I'd say go for it. It's a brilliant opportunity to broaden your horizon, like uh, broaden your skill set while earning at the same time. So. Sure, sure. And what about you Matthew? What advice would you give to anyone interested? I'd say definitely consider it. It's, uh, I've came through it and I've, mm -hmm. I'm a, an engineer now so you know, you get a good experience. It's definitely good for building skills. You know, earning while you learn. You know, yeah. and you're you're also getting the qualifications as well. And from a company perspective, Sarah, um, so there, in here you've potential apprenticeships. You've parents. You've guardians. You've aunties. You've uncles. You've uh, brothers, sisters. You've friends. Maybe considering apprenticeships. What advice would you give? I think you know, as as Niall and 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 Liam and Matthew have stated. Be open about the choice of higher level apprenticeships and, and don't think that it just stops after you do your higher level apprentice and, and you finish with a level five foundation degree. You do have employers like ourselves that are that are um, have pathways and are willing to, you know, sponsor and pay fees and, and um, you know increase that kind of qualification level. So I think it's a fantastic opportunity for for, for young people who want to learn while they earn. Um, they, they want to have that work life balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's fantastic for networking because you're you're gaining skills, you're gaining interpersonal skills and all of those soft skills that maybe you just don't get down the university pathway sure. you're also gaining your qualification um, and you've no debt at the end of it as well you know I'd really look back and think to myself I should have done the same oh I'm <laughs> smiling I'm smiling I mean you, you talk there about the work-life balance thank you for that you talk about the work-life balance and, and I suppose now I'll bring in you here uh, in here and I know in a previous conversation I have with you what interest do you have you said uh, I like watching football yeah. what team do you support I support Liverpool. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The best team in the world. <laughs> the best team in the world. And have you ever been over to Anfield? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've been over a couple of times. It's a brilliant place to be. Brilliant city, and it's a brilliant stadium yeah. as well. Yeah. You aren't offering. You aren't opening on a new, a new company in, in Liverpool by any chance, or a new, no. new office in Liverpool. No. You, might, you might have a lot of <laughs> somebody who offers to to, to to be a new manager there. You know. <laughs> No, that's fantastic. So you get you get you, you plenty of time outside of work, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what do you like to do, Liam, outside of work? Outside of work, um, I play like football, go to the gym, stuff like that. There, just a bit of exercise. Good, 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 and that's important to you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, keep you. And what about yourself, Matthew? A lot of my time outside of work is spent either farming or else boxing. Mhm. Mm so. And do you compete? Yeah, I've competed a few times for okay. in the boxing. Okay. Is that not all very uh, demanding? For you to do your yeah, job and a, do all this stuff. Yeah, it is. But I believe, uh, especially during the time of the HLA, you know, you had a wee bit of, you had your time to train. Sure. At nights and in the mornings, you know, as long as you got the work at the time, you were yeah. happy enough. So your employees here are coming in very interested and uh, very fit and training and doing other stuff. Uh, what about yourself? What do you like to do outside of work? Um, I like to spend some of my time with my family and friends, and I like to dine out. So I like to I like to test the restaurants. Good. That sounds, <laughs> sounds good. Can I say it's been lovely to have a conversation with you, uh, Niall, Sarah, Liam and Matthew. Uh, thank you very much for coming in today. Uh, hearing your stories from Thompson Aero Seating, uh, it's just been lovely to, to listen to you. So thank you for sharing those with us. Thanks. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. So there you have it, folks. Wasn't well, that just great to have that insight today? Um, what it's really like to be an apprentice uh, at Thompson Aero Seating and also from the Southern Regional College perspective, to hear that story. Um, certainly I've learned a lot listening to that, and uh, it's never too late. But uh, thanks again for listening to this.